Tim Pool is one of those guys who has made his enormous amount, enormous wealth by specifically eschewing doing any reading or knowing anything he's talking about. And, and, and I know this, this was related to me by someone who was friends with him, maybe still friends with him. I don't know. Uh, when he first visited him at his like mansion, wherever it was in the, the in New Jersey, I think. Uh, and he was making tons of cash then. What are you doing? I don't like to, I don't want to read. And so I just do this and also made his bones by pretending he's on the left in some fashion. But every time one of these sort of issues comes up, hmm. he has a reason why I generally support this, but I can't support it now. And this, what's interesting about this is that this was, um, this is going to be one of the talking points we hear as the Republicans start to realize like, oh, we've caught the car and it is, uh, we smashed our teeth out and in running into it. And uh, Tim Poole shows just in the moment how they're going to react in some circles uh, that, oh, this isn't about banning abortion. It's because the Democrats went too far. They were like hyper abortive. But here it is. And also, my favorite line in this is like, what's Casey? Go ahead. And ladies and gentlemen, do we have major breaking news? Roe v. Wade is gone. Yeah, baby. No. Oh, that oh. is beautiful. Okay, pause it for one second. Now, there, I don't know at what point he ever found out that this was just a leaked brief. And it was not, in fact, I mean, probably gone is the thing but i don't think he fully grasped that but that's okay i mean who's that with him because if for some, i don't know who are these dudes yeah, in there let, yeah let me take a look i thought this was like his like crew but i, I think know, maybe, so. that was my if, if that's the case i mean it's just an interesting uh way that, that that's just an interesting reaction to that news because oh, yeah. everybody in on the center left in the center on the left was not reacting oh hell yeah even if it's sarcastic celebrate with the bros yeah bros gone Crack one open. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a very good day for this country. So that's, I, I, unironically, that's unironically what I said when Scalia died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There yeah. Go. That is this incredible. Is, this is this I is I want to read more. I just saw the the first tweet about Oh my goodness. The Supreme you. Court Thank has God. voted to overturn wow. Roe v. Wade. We hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. Justice Alito writes, initial majority draft circulated inside the court. Oh my, whoa, this is nuts. This is incredible. Now, is you know, now here's, here's the funny thing. Whenever, whenever issues of left and right comes up, they say, when is Tim going to defend abortion rights? And I just want to say one thing very clearly. When they come out and they're like, the left hasn't gone left and the right has gone right. My entire life, the Republicans wanted to ban abortion outright. Do you know what the Republicans want to do today? They've gone so far right, they want to ban abortion hey, still. Look at that. <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> the left used to be in favor of some restrictions, like a compromise. Now they want it completely unrestricted. I'm not going to defend you on that. I want restrictions. The, so so here's, wh here's where we are. With This is, this is 8.32 p.m. breaking. Mm. The Supreme Court has voted to Pause strike now. down the I just want to be... There are definitely... Young people in his audience, I imagine, and maybe even older people who are like, oh, yes, the Republicans have not gone right on the question of abortion because they were at the rightmost position possible. On abortion, they were at the rightmost position possible. Although already today, we are seeing that Louisiana is pushing through a ban on uh, a bill that will say that life literally begins at fertilization. The implications of which are no IVF because fertilization happens before it is inputted. That is a life, a, a, a human life at that point. Fertilization will also mean there are certain types of IUDs because it doesn't allow for the implanting in the uterus. That would be illegal. That's a contraception. I would also imagine it means that, like, I start to take my tax deduction as soon as the sperm and egg uh, go together for my, uh, my, my baby that exists at that point. 
I also imagine it means that like, oh, wait a second. If, um, could I fertilize an egg in America through IVF, implant it in uh, myself if I'm a woman who lives in, let's say, uh, I don't know, China, Mexico. Um, I don't know why I would want to be an American citizen if I was in Europe, uh, but um, uh, it, or in, in Europe. I'm not even sure. And get, can I get an anchor baby that way if I fertilize uh, an egg in, uh, in, in the U.S.? No, of course not. So, yes, Republicans can't go any further right on on banning abortion because banning abortion is the furthermost right that you can go. But the idea that Democrats don't want any restrictions whatsoever is simply a fabrication. It's a straw man. It's the definition of a straw man. It he is has a been a, He is, I'm sure you could find some like random Twitter account that says abortion unfettered up until the point, you know, 40 weeks in, go for it. Uh, it's probably, you know, a rat fuck or something like that. But I mean, like the, 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 there's nobody on the left who's advocated for that. Well, but I don't even know what that means. I mean, because like it's not like you can go and um, like I'm going to drop by the, uh, uh, you know, the, the bodega, the local bodega and get an abortion. Um, all of this is under a doctor, a licensed yeah. or certified medical practitioner's care. And there is no law in the country that says um, that they can't say like there is no, you know, at, at in the, within the third trimester, there's no even in New York. Like we said, we already said this. Um, the most recent law simply says you can only get an abortion in the third trimester if the life or health of the mother is in danger or if the viability of the fetus is in question as determined by a medical professional what restriction does he have a problem with what, what further restriction would he want he won't say of course because no. he's just placating his right-wing audience he is presenting the right-wing position as uh, st uh as static and as reasonable because of its uh staying consistent and the left you know We've lost them. They've control. gone too far. Tim Pool doesn't have a show if it's not the left is going crazy and overreacting to what the right is doing. That's yeah. all his message ever is. I doubt he will mention the fact that every single one, if those five overturn Roe v. Wade, every single one of them in their hearings, which have taken place anywhere from 15 years ago, or I guess 17 years ago, uh, to three or four years ago, Every single one of them said they would not overturn Roe v. Wade. It is settled law. Every single one of them. All right, continue on with Tim Poole so we can see how just incredibly ignorant they are about this thing that they're opining about. I'm restricted. I'm not going to defend you on that. I want restrictions. So, so here's, wh here's where we are. With this is, this is 8.32 p.m. breaking. Mm. The Supreme Court has voted to strike down the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Oh, wow, this is nuts, according to initial draft majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito. The draft opinion is a full-throated, unflinching repudiation of the 1973 decision, oh, which guaranteed federal constitutional protections of abortion rights and a subsequent 1992 decision, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, that largely maintained that right. Wow. We hold that Rowan Casey must be overruled. He writes in the document labeled as the opinion of the court. It is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. Wow. I just want to I just want to point out, like during the show, Lydia, Lydia will like pull up a story. Yeah. It's like something's yeah. happening. But usually it's like, oh, we'll get to that. And yeah, then yeah. I saw this and I'm like trying to make my point, And I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. so Sorry. what's he saying that it becomes a state issue? State yes, to state? yes. Yeah. Definitely. And this is because they strike down Roe v. Wade, everything that every subsequent uh, court hearing that was based on Roe v. Wade is now struck as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're saying it'll be what in two months. Planned. From now? Oh, okay. Plan oh, oh wow. <sighs> There's gonna be a lot of abortions wow. between now and then. <laughs> this is this is earlier than we thought. I thought it was yeah. gonna come out in yeah. June. Yeah. What's Planned Parenthood versus Casey? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's my favorite part. What's Planned Parenthood v. Casey? You know, that's how abortions work too, right? Is that uh, since we know it's gonna be banned too, you gotta squeeze it in in this period. I gotta get pregnant so that I can get an abortion before it's banned. I really just want that. I want that experience.